Okay, hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Now, I know I posted a video yesterday of what I'm going to do today, but that video was like weird and I didn't know it uploaded and I didn't want it to upload and it was just weird. So, I deleted that video and um, I'm going to do the video all over again, but just a little different. So, Let's go. This outfit is gonna. This outfit. <laughs> this video is gonna be a wig review slash um outfit of the day and slash whatever else I have to talk about. I don't know. Sometimes I just get the rambling. But anyway, um, the wig that I'm gonna review is this wig right here, model model cocktail wig and. The name of this wig is Fuzzy Navel. Now, some great people have done this wig. This wig has been um, out for a really, really long time. Um, a lot of people have reviewed this wig. It's a really great wig. I just got it, but well, not just got it, but like maybe a month ago I got it or whatever. So, um, yeah, whatever. So... Um, this is like my third time wearing it, and I decided to do the review now because every other time that I wore it, um, why am I having like blackouts right now? Anyway, any other time I wore it, it was just like to go. I didn't really style it or whatever. So, um, I got this wig in a color TP1B27. I wanted to have like um some highlights. But yesterday you couldn't really see the 27, but today you can see it a little better. You see like the little streaks. It's not a lot, but it's enough. It, it gives us this nice um like sparkly black color. You can see the 27 a lot better than yesterday's video. That's why I wanted to do it over or whatever. Um, it's the the 27 1B mix is really good. It's not too much of um, the 27, so it looks um, really really pretty. I really like this mix. Um, the only thing I don't like about this wig is that it's short. It's really short for me. Um, I love long hair. All my other videos you see, I have long ass hair. So I love, you know, long weaves and big obnoxious weaves. <laughs> so this is really different for me. But, you know, I love, you know, to try different things. So, I mean, it's really, um, I really like the wig. I love the curls. The curls are, like, amazing. If this wig had, like, if it was, if I could find a wig that had these curls but way longer, I would be the happiest person in the world because I love these curls. This is how it looks in the back. Beautiful curls. It's like a wavy curly pattern. Um, it has a comb in the front, a comb in the back. Um, the combs are really big. So, I mean, you will feel secure. Like, sometimes I don't even put the combs in in the back because it's so secure and so tight. Also, this um, wig has a drawstring because um, it can be turned into a, a, a ponytail. So, it has, um, I'm watching Maury. I don't know if you can, <laughs> but it has a drawstring in the back. Which is kind of annoying because you always have to remember to tuck it under, um, like the wig. If not, this drawstring just sticks out of the back and it's like weird and annoying. But, um, yes, another thing about this wig is you don't have to leave a lot of hair out in the front. I left like minimal hair out in the front because I need to wash my hair and I need to really, um, uh, oil it and like all that other stuff. So I left minimal hair out in the front. So, like, I left like, excuse me, I think I'm getting sick. I left like, uh, like that much hair out. Like, you really can't even see. And I put some jam on them babies, my edges, and I'm done. Um, so yeah, this is Fuzzy Navel. Um, Another thing is, I love this line of wigs. Model, model, cocktail wigs, I love that line. Like, for half wigs, I think that might be one of my favorites. 
besides Outre and Sensational. This line is really good. So if you've never tried um, Model Model Cocktail, like other than like the Fuzzy Navel, I mean, try it because they're really good. My favorite. One of my favorites. Only thing I don't like about this line is that they're liars. And um, read this right here. It says that it can be curled at 175 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Lies. I had another wig, and it was like my favorite wig. And I tried to curl it, and um, it melted. Yes, and it was like on the lowest setting of my curling iron. Unless my curling iron is so hot, which I doubt it, they're a liar. So I would not suggest to try to curl this wig. I mean, anybody out there who has tried to curl this wig and has successfully done it, please let me know because I would love to be able to curl these wigs. But I tried it and I failed. So, I mean, I will never try it again on another wig unless. I was ready to throw it out anyway, but I mean, if you've done it and you've succeeded, please let me know. Give me some tips, some hints. Um. So yeah, that's this is Fuzzy Mabel. I like her. She's cute. Okay, so now enough with the wig review. That's my opinion on her. I'm sure you've seen a hundred million other reviews on Fuzzy Mabel because. I mean, on does hair, but, um, I would get her again, but I want her in this color that's in, like, the paper, or the, whatever, the model. Is this not a cute color? It looks like a cute color. Okay, now for the outfit of the day. My outfit of the day is really, really simple. It's, like, plain, um, it took no thought whatsoever to make this outfit, so. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I just have on some jeans. I just wore some jeans and um this really loose leopard shirt that I love so much is gray and black. It's like off the shoulder. It's like baggy right here. It's really, really cute. What am I doing? Um I have some regular flats on, some regular black flats. Um I have this necklace on, um, I have this bracelet on that I got from the Facebook Dollar Jewelry Store, a dollar, um, I have my fake wedding ring on, um, I have my purple Betsy Johnson bracelet on, I have this flowery ring, for my earrings I have just this, these pink flowers that I got like a dozen from, um, what's the name of that place that everybody goes to? Like, Rocky Trading for like a dollar or something. And then I have these gray teardrop hoops. And that's it. And my makeup is just, I did purple mixed with some black in the corners. And um, I put some glitter to make it pop a little. Some pink lips. And that's my outfit of the day. Very simple, right? And um, one other thing I want to say. Remember how I told you guys that I went to Rite Aid and um, I got this secret base stuff and this studio secret stuff. And I told you that I do these two and then I put this and that's it. I love it. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it actually, it looks like it's clearing my skin up. Like, after I take off my makeup, I don't look like craziness. Like, every morning I wake up and my face is, like, clear. Especially, like, the dark spots that this is supposed to, like, cover. Seems like they're getting lighter. Yes, I've been using this for, like, a week now. And, I mean, I really like the way this, this little trio looks. It's, like, perfect. I don't even put foundation. I put powder foundation. I don't put, when I use these two, I don't even put liquid foundation unless I'm trying to go hard with my makeup like I did today. Like, today, I put foundation on. Um, 
but I totally didn't need to. I really did not need to. I just did because, I don't know, I just did. But, um, for a week now, I've just been using these two things and this. So, before I was like, uh, about it, now I'm like, try it. Try it. Go ahead and try it. Um, it is a little expensive. It's on the pricey side, but it's it's like especially for the summer when you don't want to wear foundation and you don't want to have your face melting off. That's another thing. When I wear this, I don't have um oily skin. It doesn't make my skin oily. I don't have to worry about like blotting perfectness for the summer. And I didn't even think about it like that, but perfectness. It lasts all day. I don't have to refresh anything. Just perfectness. I love this feel. I don't think I'll go back to. And even um, and even when I did use the foundation, I didn't go back to that moisturizer. I was using like that tinted moisturizer. I haven't used the roll-on airbrush um foundation thing. And I haven't really even used my concealer. So I knocked out like half of my makeup routine. And I'm really satisfied with how this looks. And if you want to know more of what this does, I do have a video on it, the Rite Aid products or whatever. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that's my new makeup routine. And I love it. It makes me look very fresh. And I just really like it. So, um, that's really it for today. I'm in a good mood, I guess. I have to go to work, so that's sad. But <laughs> other than that, I'm happy. And I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys have a good day. It's not that hot outside, but still, I have a good day. I work, school, whatever you have to do. I have a test later on. That sucks, but whatever i hope i do good and that's really it so i'll see you guys later